Team Scorpios takes us round the pits. We meet Blip and all the latest news from Robo Nerd all this week in Robot Combat. Straight into the stories again this week and Team Scorpios has done another few tours of the pits in their latest couple of videos on their channel. Make sure you go and check them out. They've seen such robots as Tombstone, Orby Blade, the new Rampage that we took a look at last week. The new Hydra, which is pretty much the same on the outside, but it has had full internal upgrades. Jaeger from Germany made it over, the only European team to make it to BattleBots this year. We got our first look at the new Hypershock and Boy George, it looks tasty. Free shipping in the works in the pits as well, looking very nice indeed. We saw Lockjaw, which pretty much the same as last year, perhaps a little bit lighter however. The Big Dill, completely redesigned from the 2020 version, as is the new Rusty, confirmed to be taking part in this year's tournament. Big news came early in the week as Team C2 Robotics revealed that they had teamed up with Greg Gibson to make a new version of Yeti. No longer retired, this robot will be competing in the 2021 season and by god it looks awesome. Can't wait to see it take part. Team Hijinx showed off a completed version of the new Hijinx. Minor upgrades here and there on a looks perspective but it is a complete rebuild. Team Riptide showed off photos of their team pictures and a photo of the robot complete as well. Looking good. Endgame is fully built and had its glory shots taken this week. It looks as good as it did last year, if not better. Kraken got all fired up in the flame testing area. The fire breathing water creature will be competing soon, as will the new look Slamo. This is a very nicely designed robot with some very nice decals as well. Craig Danby, you have done an art. The Orby team showed off the finished picture of Orby Blade and it looks smashing as ever. Team Deadlift showed off the new look robot. We've seen teasers of this previously, but here is the fully built version. Overhaul makes its return to BattleBots having had a couple of seasons off. They last competed in 2018 and now fully rebuilt once again. They will be competing this year. Double Jeopardy also returns this year with their three-shot cannon ready to do battle. Sawblade showed off their glory pictures as well with a new look for Wedgelet setup on the front. Very exciting to see. And Sawblaze, wait a minute, that's not Sawblaze, it's Blacksmith who have a hammer saw this season. Excited to see that in action. Rotator look more gold than ever, which I didn't think was possible, but clearly it is. The new version looking very smart indeed. Shatter showed off this new glaive weapon that they will be competing with in the 2021 season alongside some other weaponry as well. We were introduced to new flipper robot from Team Seams Reasonable Robotics, Blip. This flipper is awesome. I absolutely love it and it is my new god. I look forward to seeing it in action. And the Captain Shredderator team showed this full spin-up video of the Wings of Freedom, their new tooth setup for the new shell on Shredderator looking very nice. We'd heard rumour last week that the three UK teams would not be able to make it to Las Vegas to be reunited with their crates that are already at the event. Unfortunately, these rumours have proved to be true. Monsoon, Beta and Sabretooth will all not be competing this season as their visa requests were unfortunately denied. All three hope to compete next year in the 2022 season, which has already been confirmed. Unfortunately, Ominous has also suffered the same fate, however, not hearing back from the State Department. They will not be competing this year. It's under a week until RoboNerd 2021 takes place in Wolverhampton. We're very, very excited to be in attendance. Also in attendance will be some other robots. For example, Deator, who we were warned not to put any live flames anywhere nearby, just in case they can bust. Excited to see them in person as am I excited to see Storm 2 in person. The team will be in attendance with Storm 2, the original Storm build that was built back in 1990s and Photon Storm that was taken over to BattleBots. The house robot Shunt and Dead Metal built by Jamie McCarg will be in attendance as well and we're hoping to see some demos of these two in action. Grim Reaper will be in attendance thanks to Rarer of the ESC podcast 
She has the chassis and she's bringing it along, alongside a replica version of Napalm. This smell of Napalm will be competing in the Bebs tournament. Mark Smith has built a beetle weight version of Atomic 2, Subatomic 2, that will be competing at some point. And Team Ironclads announced that they would be bringing a fleet of robots along, including their featherweight Palace, their middleweight Audacious, and their heavyweight Thunderchild. Excited to see all three of them, but not as excited as I am to see the big cheese. They will also be bringing this along to the event. Very exciting stuff indeed. Finally, Shunt Posting will be holding a raffle at RoboNerd. Be sure to go and find Sarah or Dale from Shunt Posting to get your raffle tickets. Lots of prizes to be won. RoboNerd will be taking place on Saturday the 4th of September at the Gatehouse in Wolverhampton. And next week's news will be a special looking back at all of the action from RoboNerd or as much of it as we can capture. If you want to keep up with the rest of the news for next week, make sure to check out World of Woodrow over on Facebook. Do like the video if you enjoyed it. If you're new, do subscribe to the channel. And until next week, we shall see you. Bye-bye.